How's it going Jeremiah's? Is this Cork EK50L over here worth the extra $100 more than the standard Cork EK50? This is the question I have been getting most ever since the Cork EK50 was announced last month. And are the speakers on the Cork EK50L here twice as loud as those on the EK50? Or is it just snake oil marketing? I will be covering six aspects of the Cork EK50. They are the additional voices, the styles, the additional keyboard sets, the additional drum kits, the build quality, and finally the upgraded speakers on this Cork EK50L. So make sure you keep watching till the end of this video and take a second to smash that like button right now. The street price of the Cork EK50L is 549 US dollars and this is $150 more than the Cork EK50 which is selling at 399. For $100 more, the Cork EK50L comes with some extra to target a specific demographic. These extras make the internal presets of the Cork EK50L uncannily identical to the new Cork i3 which at just 599 US dollars is just $50 more than this Cork EK50L and $200 more than the Cork EK50. So is that a better choice for some of you? We will find out when I get my hands on a Cork i3 in a couple of weeks time to do a thorough review for you guys. In fact, the Cork EK50L is so similar to the Cork EK50 that Cork did not even bother to print a new set of user manuals for the Cork EK50L. This Cork EK50L comes with the exact same user manual as the Cork EK50. The only difference is Cork put in a single sheet of paper that instructs the owner to download a PDF containing the updated additional voices and styles in the Cork EK50L. There are many Cork enthusiasts who are shouting out to me, Jeremy, people should just get the PA300. Inside the Cork EK50 and EK50L is essentially just a Cork PA50 and a Cork Micro Arranger. The Cork PA300 is better, Jeremy. You can edit styles on the PA300. Hey guys, you can calm down now. I heard you loud and clear. You can stop giving my videos the thumbs down right now. The thing is, the PA300 at 750 US dollars is a massive $350 more than the Cork EK50. In many markets, $350 US dollars is not a small sum. It can be as much as an entire month's salary. And not everyone needs all the bells and whistles of a mid-range PA300. As especially if you are not going to go into style editing and all the fancy stuff. In the meantime, do take a minute to check out the links in my description for a list of my recommended keyboards and digital pianos. The Cork EK50L comes with an additional 87 more sounds than the EK50. Unless you are into contemporary or EDM music, these extra preset voices will not make very much difference to you. In my opinion, these extra voices seem to be made for the new Cork i3, but Cork decided to milk the EK model line and just throw these additional voices into the Cork EK50L. The Cork i3 has the exact same 790 voices as those found on the Cork EK50L. The additional 24 keyboard sets, however, 
is a different story altogether. These keyboard sets are definitely a very useful addition. If you are not technically inclined to make your own sounds and you don't want to do a lot of sound tweaking on your own, these keyboard sets are just perfect for setup and play situations. I love Korg's implementation of keyboard sets as this have been configured with four layers of voices that complement each other and have suitable effects already applied. For those using the Korg EK50L, taking song requests during gigs or getting your keyboard to sound good quickly during the improvisation assessment section of the rock school exams or even during church worship sessions when the worship leaders suddenly calls out songs that are not in the playlist, these keyboard sets are definitely a very welcome choice. You might also want to note that the new Korg i3 also has the exact same 200 keyboard sets as the Korg EK50L. The Korg EK50L comes with an additional 18 drum kits as the EK50 and the EK50L doesn't come with a style creation feature, there is no way of editing the styles on the Korg EK series. The customized usage of these drum kits are really limited to just switching out the drum kits on the preset styles. If you do foresee yourself controlling these drum kits with a door for music production, these 18 drum kits, which again are mostly targeted towards EDM music, will allow for greater sonic creativity when you are beat making. From the additional 18 drum kits found on the Korg EK50L, Korg has added an additional 10 styles in this keyboard. And these 10 styles are literally all EDM styles and I have made a video of these additional styles and you can listen to them here if you haven't done so. Again, these styles can also be found in the new Korg i3 which has a contemporary beat making EDM slant to it. So it seems to me like Korg has just decided to throw them inside this Korg EK50L for good measure. I don't play very much EDM music so my opinion may not matter but to my ears the 10 additional styles are just not as professionally programmed as the rest of the styles in the EK50. It does seem a little bit haphazardly put together so these 10 additional styles will not be the reason I will pay an additional $100 more for the EK50L. Korg touts the more durable build quality of the Korg EK50L in their marketing collateral. After all, the Korg EK50L is directed at keyboardists who gig. Whether or not it is more durable, I wouldn't know because I have not used this long enough to see sufficient wear and tear on this keyboard to give you an honest review on the build quality. And you know, in my channel, this is all about honesty, but upon first impression, the lightly rubberized coating on the Korg EK50L does give a significantly premium feel to the keyboard compared to the regular EK50, which is pretty much just hard and shiny black plastic all around. I have tried to intentionally scratch the EK50L coating with my fingernail and I am happy to report that it does not scratch. I was skeptical at first when I saw the specifications of the Korg EK50L. Korg claims that the EK50L sounds twice as loud as the EK50 even though the speakers remain the same 12cm cones and the amplification remains the same as 20 watts, just like the EK50. But boy, these speakers are indeed very, very loud. So loud that if I were to set it at half volume in my home, the decibels generated by this keyboard hurts my eardrums. 
Korg has definitely done some engineering tweaks to the EK50L to significantly increase the speaker efficiency and there is no unicorn to be found here. I believe these might come from that new partnership that Korg has with the K-Array Italian speakers manufacturer and there might just be an exchange of technical proficiency in this matter. Korg says that they built the EK50L for keyboarders who gig and perform and these very loud speakers allow you to perform in a moderately sized venue without having to lug along extra heavy speakers. For weddings, parties with under 150 people, these speakers are definitely sufficient. However, nothing is always a bed of roses. There is a caveat. At very high volumes, the speakers of the EK50 do lose some low-end bass response. It isn't a deal breaker for me, but you might want to take note of that. Now for the million dollar question, should everyone pay an extra $150 and get the Korg EK50L over the Korg EK50? In my opinion, if you are just a home keyboard player and a hobbyist, no, there is no real need for you to fork out that additional money for this upgraded EK50L. But if you bring out your keyboard often to gig with, then yes, I believe the more powerful speakers do eliminate the need for additional amplification in small venues. The supposedly more durable coating with more legible labeling is also helpful in performance scenarios as well. For me personally, I wouldn't pay the extra money for the additional styles or the additional sounds in the Korg EK50L. After all, EDM beat making is better done on a DAW on your desktop and the EK50 has the exact same 12 software bundle as this. EK50L and you can make very very decent EDM and contemporary music and loops with the bundled DAW and VSTs found on the Korg EK50L. I hope my experience and advice has given you a valuable insight on this Korg EK keyboard. Do check out the links in my description for my list of recommended keyboards and digital pianos and I'll see you soon in my next video.